There are more than 7,000 species of true crabs that exist today, and they live all over the world. They live in every ocean, they live in a whole bunch of different types of freshwater, and they can live on land. And while there are a lot of animals that we refer to as crabs, like a hermit crab or a horseshoe crab or even a king crab, they are actually not true crabs. They're different types of crustaceans. And true crabs are a really diverse group of animals. The smallest one, the pea crab, is actually so tiny that it can live in the shells of other animals. And then the largest is the Japanese spider crab, and they can be more than 40 pounds. So there's a huge range in the size of crabs, but they all have a lot of stuff in common, the biggest one being that hard shell that they have. So true crabs have an exoskeleton, a hard exterior, because remember, they don't have any bones, so that shell is really helpful to provide support and structure, but also to act in protection. And just like a snake sheds its skin as it grows, crabs also have to shed their shells as they grow. So over time, they kind of detach from their current one and they grow a new one that allows them to be slightly bigger. All true crabs also have eight jointed legs. So they kind of have a whole, it almost looks like a bunch of knuckles on their legs that gives them that funny shape. And they usually have two big pinchers as well that they both use as a predator and so they don't become prey. So the claws are really helpful when they come across food. Remember, crabs are uh, kind of like a cleanup crew. So they'll come across stuff that's already dead or they'll hunt too. Um, but they use those claws to grab onto any prey items or to pull any food apart, but they'll also use their claws to warn anything that might want to be eating them. So they'll hold their claws up, they'll kind of wave them around, and then if that animal does try to attack them, they'll use their claws to defend themselves. And then another thing that all crabs have in common, all the true crabs, is that they all have gills. So while we see some crabs living mostly underwater and some crabs living on land, it, they all still have gills. So when they're underwater, the gills help pull the oxygen out of the water into their bodies. And when they come up on land, as long as their gills are wet, they can extract, they can pull some of that oxygen out of the air and breathe that way too. So they can't totally dry out. They have to stay kind of wet when they're on land if they want to breathe successfully. So we kind of mentioned a little bit earlier the hermit crab and how they're not a true crab. They do have a lot in common with a true crab. There's about 800 species of hermit crabs and they all have gills so they can again breathe in water and out of water. They've got those eight jointed legs and pinchers as well. And the front of their body is covered in that hard exoskeleton. But the thing that makes them really different from a true crab is that they have this soft, kind of long curved tail that they use to hook onto a, a shell from a sea snail is usually what they get their shells from. So over time, as they get bigger, as they get older, instead of shedding their whole exterior and growing a new one, they also have to go find a slightly bigger shell. So that can be a little bit challenging for them too. But they need that shell because if they're not wearing it, they're totally vulnerable to predators. They could be attacked. And if they're up on land in the hot sun, that tail can kind of dry out. So it's really important that they have shells available. So hermit crabs and true crabs and pretty much all crustaceans are such an amazing group of invertebrates. They're a group of arthropods and we are so lucky to have them on our planet to get to learn from them. We actually will study crabs and their, their hard exoskeletons and we have kind of designed some things for humans off of their shells. So we are kind of using nature to help us design stuff for humans like armor. So crabs are amazing and we are so lucky to have all this information about them that we can share with you guys and I hope you guys have had a really great time learning all about true crabs and hermit crabs.